Samples. Yep, it's happening. Not my hair. Not my hair. The sample pack is finally ready. And I just wanted to hijack the channel just to show them because I'm getting daily messages on, on my old social because I mentioned that the sample pack is almost ready. I finished it. I wanted to really create my own sample pack for a long time because I really use single sample packs for a really long time. And I really don't like going through the different samples. It just takes too much time. So I prefer to have one single core lib library that I really like and then just use it like a year or so on until I really get bored of it. And I always work that way and I feel like it's the best way that is working for me and there's a reason I just want to make a sample pack that I really like every sound so that I can use it later on. <laughs> so what we have is a kind of a regular sample pack. We have all the core single shot sounds. Uh, that I like. These are mostly the things that I would myself use but that means that basically more modern sounds together with some analog sounds in it and plus I included a construction this is just for you this is basically full uh, loops that you can take a look so I will start with the construction so that you can understand a little bit more what type of sounds in it and then we can go through the different samples so first let's take a look at the Berlin and you you can see all the different parts are here and then I have a mix down as well and let's take a look at the mix down So this one is more like uh, main room techno stuff and then of course you have each part separately. And so on, we miss the air and then we have this one for example. And I'm not gonna go through the, all of them one by one because like you see they are all included there separately and I didn't want to just call it like a high loop then you have all the hi-hats and shakers together I separate them so that you can actually take a piece if you like let's say you want only percussions that you can then you can just take it and then we have the trail sounds like And then you have high sounds like this. And then we have progress. Yeah, I was, when I was making this one, I, I was thinking like when I play this one online, it will be just like suddenly change of mood. So that's exactly what happened. And let's try this one now. And I'm finally young. Again, these are here so that you can kickstart your ideas immediately and then maybe you can take the small pieces from them, like small loops. Let's say you like the clip of this one, you can just take like this or maybe you like the shake loop and so on. And it's hard to go every sound, but I'm going to just very really fast go through them and try to show it around a little bit. And we have the claps. And the naming is basically showing you slightly. Some of them are some of them are random, but some of them clearly shows which artist or label that is influenced from. 
of course, I cannot use the exact the same names because of the copyright things, but I tried to hint what artists that specific sound is actually influenced by. And then we have the constructions that we had and the symbols. And then effects. This is my favorite. Look at this one. I'm so using this one in one of my tracks. I don't know how, but I'm gonna make it. And of course kick, let me go through the kicks all because I think this is one of the important part. A lot of people were always asking me how do I make my kicks, why they sound so kind of smooth and stuff. So these are my kicks more or less and I cream them up a little bit more. So here we go. I also key labeled them so that you don't need to really think about the tuning too much so you see them so, so you can tune it uh, very fast and most of the time is around actually F, E and G and some of them I think D and rarely A. The main reason is that just it's the sweet spot for a kick. I tend to use those in my tracks and it makes the low end a bit easier so that's the reason that you get them also around these notes as well. And actually this same thing here in the stomps as well there's also key labeled. And then we have the, let's go back and open the hats. Like I mentioned, I really tried to make a core library. So this will be the sounds that I will be using and all the sounds are really creamy and a bit like a smoother. So if And I really try to avoid to put a filler sound. So everything here is something that you can use in a track more or less. So I didn't really randomly put some weird noises to just make under samples more. So then we have the snares. There are more this type of like a rim shot ish. Uh, snares that you that became pretty popular latest in 2019 2020 also it's like you hear it almost all the tracks so there are some of them here yeah like this one for example i don't know what they call them like stone snares here as well here again yeah half of them not half maybe 40 percent of them are that type of snares and then the toms yeah, and if you don't know how to buy it, it's on Mercurial Tones. Let me show you how you get there quickly. It's on MercurialTones.com and then we have, of course, a couple of different things. By the way, we have still keeping all discounts going because of, well, yeah, you know, Corona. We will be keeping discounts until the Corona ends, so you still have some time, I would say. And then here are Mercurial Core Sample Preset Pack, and if you click this one... You will end up here and you have of course all different sounds here you can go check it out for example if you want to listen to them again or if you want to take a look at some of the simple shots you can find them here as well and then a couple of explanations what they are how they are yeah here are the numbers so 435 copyright free samples and these are all the things and 12 different construction kits and yeah I think that's it. I don't want to make the video longer than this. It's basically my new sample pack, my only sample pack, 
other than that i hope this video helped and i hope you enjoyed it and i will catch you in the next one goodbye